Today, let's talk about the signs that a man will give you if he is feeling emotional attraction for you and not just physical attraction. Now, I talk about this repeatedly in my work that in my experience, women are giving just way too much importance to physical attraction and their appearance and their looks and not enough importance to building emotional attraction with men. And here's the thing, while I do believe looks are important and we all know that men are visual creatures and that's the first thing a man will notice about you. I like her body, I like her face, I like the way she looks. That physical attraction is not enduring. In other words, it is going to decline over time. And this happens to the best of the couples who are in love. This happens to long-term marriages and relationships. But here's the good news. If you're a woman who knows how to build emotional attraction with men, then that is going to ensure that he stays interested, he stays loyal, and he is head over heels in love with you. So in other words, it pays a lot of returns to focus on building the skills of emotional attraction with a man. Let's talk about what are the signs that a man will display when he is emotionally attracted to a woman. What he's feeling is sexual attraction. And that kind of attraction, honestly, is really easy to find. And it's also really easy to create inside of a man. I mean, if you are a reasonably attractive woman and you look after your appearance and you care about how you dress and you care about your body, I can guarantee that if you enter a room full of men, more than 50% of those men will feel physical attraction for you. And physical attraction is basically a man's mind going, how would it feel to touch her? How would it feel to kiss her? How would it feel to make love to her? How would it feel if I took her to bed and had sex with her? That kind of attraction is really easy for men to feel for you. And it doesn't differentiate you from any other woman because men will feel that kind of attraction for many, many, many women. This is why it's so critical to pay attention to emotional attraction because physical attraction is going to get you friends with benefits. Physical attraction will ensure that a man sees you as tonight material, just want to get her into bed material, just want to somehow hook up with her material, will chase her till I get her into bed material, but it will not make him see you as life partner material, long-term material, want to spend the rest of my life with her material. So on that note, let's talk about the signs a man will give you when he is feeling emotional attraction for you. Now, what is emotional attraction? Emotional attraction is the attraction of the heart. It's the attraction where you go beyond somebody's body, beyond somebody's looks and appearance, and you actually feel a desire to get to know them. So when a man starts to feel emotional attraction towards a woman, he's not just interested in her looks and her appearance. Of course, he finds that attractive. A man will never date a woman that he doesn't feel physical attraction for, even though women can often date men that they might not feel physical attraction for because for women physical attraction can grow with how a man treats them but for a man that is always going to be the foundational component of engaging in any kind of romantic dialogue or interactions with a woman so when a man finds you emotionally attractive he is going to want to get to know you beyond your looks and your appearance He is going to be interested in your hobbies. He's going to be interested in your life. He's going to be interested in what made you smile today. He's going to be interested in what was hard about your day today. And this is because he wants to get to know your personality. He wants to get to know your soul. He wants to get to know the woman behind that beautiful body and that beautiful face. And so this is a sure, short sign that a man is feeling emotional attraction for you when he gets interested in knowing you beyond your physical appearance. Another sign that a man is feeling emotional attraction for you is when he is happily available for help, support, and advice. 
This is really interesting because every man who's a good human will help somebody, man or woman, in a dire need. However, most masculine empowered men will always conserve their energy and conserve their time and only help women that they feel attraction towards. And so if a man is helping you, if he's taking out time from his day to give you an advice on a certain topic that you asked his opinion on, or if he is spending time solving a problem for you, or if he is coming over to your place and trying to fix that broken task, or trying to set up that bulb that keeps going on and off this shows that he is interested in you not just in your appearance not just in your looks but he is spending his time effort and energy in order to win you over because he feels emotional attraction for you now i think it's so important to understand how healthy empowered men think in a romantic equation with a woman they like. Now, when a man likes you beyond just physical attraction, he is thinking long-term with you. He wants to win your affection, your trust. And he knows that in order to win that, he has to prove himself worthy to you. And so it is only when a man is interested in a woman beyond her looks that he will spend the time and the energy to win her over through acts of service. He will spend time and energy to win her over through helping her out, giving her advice, being there for her in a hard moment. These are all things men only do for women. They value, they respect, And they want to keep the connection alive with such a woman. You see, when a man is not interested in you emotionally, he's not going to want to spend time solving your problems. He's not going to even be interested in hearing if your day was hard or if your day was good. All he's interested in, if he feels just physical attraction, is to how to get you into bed. And he doesn't want to invest more time and energy beyond that goal. Now, if he's not feeling even physical attraction, then there is nothing there, right? Like if there is... Only physical attraction, a man will do friends with benefits with you. If there is physical and emotional attraction, a man is thinking long term. And if there is no physical attraction and no emotional attraction, you have nothing there with a man. He's not going to respond to you. He's not going to respond to your texts. He's not going to show up and try to be there for him to value you. So what are some of the ways in which if you are a woman and you like a man, you can start creating more emotional attraction in him? Well, I think one of the most important things is to escalate the flirting and to escalate the stakes, so to speak. I think so often we pay a lot of attention to our dressing and our appearance, but we're not paying a lot of attention to how is this person, how is this man that I like experiencing me emotionally? And if you can pay a little more attention to that and you can start going in a little harder with the flirting, you will create an emotional spark inside a man's brain. You see, a lot of men, even if they are extroverted, even if they are very successful, they still can harbor feelings of a fear of being rejected. They can harbor fear of being abandoned. They can harbor fear of, does she really like me? Should I really pursue this with her? And so if you go in and you like this person and you want to step up their emotional attraction towards you, then my invitation is to be the leader in terms of flirting, be the leader in terms of teasing him, be the leader in terms of challenging him, because all these are experiences that create emotions within a man that trigger a man and so if you go in there and you start to say stuff like really when are you going to take me out to show me that oh my god one day you totally have to take me out to show me that now you're really pushing the stakes up and you're showing that there is interest while still not getting into your masculine energy. And trust me, he's gonna go back home and think about what you said. He's gonna go back home and think, does she like me? Does she want me? Was she suggesting I take her out on a date? And those are the ways you want a man to think about you. So if you are looking to create more emotional attraction in a man, escalate the flirting, escalate the stakes emotionally in that situation. 
Now, another way to get a man to feel more deeper emotional attraction for you is to do fun activities together. I talk about this in my Leap Into Love program where I say a lot of people go on really flat dinner dates which often feel like interviews, which often feel like a high pressure environment to get to know somebody. You're sitting across each other, asking each other questions. And while that's okay for a first or a second date in Leap Into Love and in my coaching work with my clients, I always tell them, go out and have fun together with the guy like do an activity go kayaking with the guy look at art in a museum with the guy have a picnic with a man by the beach because so often we learn to see the different qualities of another person the person we're with or the person we're dating in different settings and in different environments. I mean, how often have we heard that a man and a woman had to escape from a storm together, from a hut that they were hiking around and they got all wet and that was the triggering emotional moment that bonded them and that's when they fell in love. Because this happens all the time. What happens is that the more you spend time in a different type of activity with a man, the more you will notice that he gets to experience you emotionally and that is what creates that extra charge for him. The third way you can make a man feel more emotional attraction towards you is when you are being yourself. And by being yourself, I mean really owning who you are around him, your quirks, your weirdness, your imperfections included. I find it so attractive myself, even in men, that they are comfortable being who they are, even if they know they're not perfect. You know, they value themselves. They know what they bring to the table, even with their imperfections. And I believe this is something that is attractive to both genders. So men appreciate women who are unapologetically themselves and women appreciate men who are unapologetically themselves and this kind of high self-esteem and confidence cannot come from just knowing your strengths and always projecting that really strong image which actually appears very guarded and very insecure but it comes from knowing your imperfections being able to have a laugh about your imperfections and still knowing that you are worthy still knowing that you are valuable and truly there's nothing more attractive than that so i remember this one time when i was dating my husband where he uh, said to me should we meet here for our next date and i said to him i'm good at so many things but finding my way to a restaurant is not something i'm good at it's not my strength i always manage to get lost and it really felt vulnerable to share that because of course he could judge i mean she has a master's degree she's an adult she can't find her way to a restaurant i mean for god's sake just use an iphone use google maps right but instead of judging me for it, because I was so compassionate to myself and I know my strengths, but I also know my weaknesses and I know my imperfections and I'm okay with them. I'm compassionate to myself around my imperfections. My man responded in such a compassionate way and he just said, ha ha, don't worry. In that case, I'm going to come pick you up. What an amazing masculine response. And till today, Chris tells me that he loved the way I was so comfortable being who I was. So if you're looking to build emotional attraction in a man's heart, get easy owning your imperfections around men. Never talk down about yourself, never undermine yourself, never undervalue yourself to a man. But when you show your imperfections, when you show your vulnerability, make sure you're also showing that it's okay to be who you are. You're comfortable with who you are. You own who you are. You're not judging who you are because that is extremely attractive. I hope this was helpful. Just a short video for you today. Give me a like if it was helpful. Subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below. Do you find that men are more physically attracted to you? Do you find it challenging to build emotional attraction? Or do you find that men do 
feel emotional attraction towards you, but creating physical attraction is more your challenge and you find yourself getting friend zoned. Whatever your challenge is, I love to prioritize my subscribers and my community. So if you want me to make a new video about your challenges and your questions, drop that in the comments below and I may come back with a pleasant surprise for you answering your specific questions. Take care and I'll see you on the next video.